right, guys, today we got a brutal chest and tricep workout for you. You don't want to miss this one. Let's check it out. So make sure when we're coming out of the hole, we're still doing what we practice with the dumbbell press. We're going to stretch, you're going to contract it up nice and slow, no momentum. Yep, so he's contracting out of the hole as opposed to just throwing the weight up. Coming down, get a little more stretch, to get more comfortable. Together we're keeping a little bit further apart, maximize our contraction in the muscle tissue. Good. Why do you begin with an isolation exercise prior to a press? So that's traditional way in the past was, you know, either start with a bench press, incline bench press. So for a bodybuilder who's looking to build muscle, I like to start with something where we're gonna get some warmth out of the tissue. And a fly isolation motion allows us to do that without putting a lot of stress. So we can kind of gradually increase the strength, increase the range of motion, prepare the tissue for getting warmer, and then go into a press for the next exercise. There you go. Two more, go. Last one. Good job. Uncharted territories. So we're gonna try dumbbell flies with 80s. But this is not a normal dumbbell fly. This is a very slow on the way up. Usually we go slow down and explode up. We're not exploding, we're actually trying to go a little bit slow, recruit more fibers in the chest. It's working. Go. Pushing, you got two. You got two. Come on. One more. Nice and strong. Contract. One more. One more. Good job. Nice. Yeah, so now we're going to go into a pressing motion. Um, same thing we're going to do, but we're going to change the tempo a little bit. We're going to go normal out of the hole, but we're not going to fully lock out. We're going to maintain tension through our elbows being slightly bent. Take it down a little further. There you go. A little more contraction hold the top. Good, there we go. Keep pushing, come on. Keep pushing. Finish with a partial, keep going, come on. Quit. One more. When you're this close to the show, it's everything feels different. Like when you get the tightness, and the burn just feels different. Everything feels tighter, um, harder, denser. So I can feel my chest as I'm pressing. So rep range changed through the first exercise. We were looking for six to eight reps with a fly. Now we're trying to keep it between eight to 10. dumbbell press. We're looking for nothing less than 10 repetitions on our movement. Okay? And again, tempo is normal. Working through the range. And the other thing we changed with Sadiq is his elbows used to be very high, which puts a lot of stress on your shoulders. So I'm down a little bit more in this angle now. Come on, strong push. Come on, bro. Now this year I feel my chest is a lot fuller and rounder. Mike touched on it before, but I used to press this way. Dumbbells totally level to the floor, really straight, pushing with my shoulders. But what I actually started doing is adjusting, twisting slightly uh, on a diagonal, and I get more, not only more contraction, get more squeeze and more blood flow into that pack. It's made a huge difference. those of you that are curious, the best way to get the dumbbells up on a seated bench press, I like to rest both dumbbells on the edge of my knee. So further out of my leg, not closer to my groin, but further out. And what I do is 
I slowly sit back and I bring my knees up and use the momentum to get them in position, all right? You can also do one knee at a time, but I like to just sit back, bring my knees up, and we're here. Starting with a cable straight, push down. Hands are gonna go wide on the edge. Wide. Wide at the end. All the way at the end or this is All wide? All at the end. Oof, very wide. Yeah. So is this place to stress differently across the triceps? You have three tricep heads. They're all working to extend the elbow. So we're just trying to differentiate that stress across the triceps. So one of the reasons I like training with Mike so much is because nothing slides with him. He can look at my physique and tell that this left shoulder blade is forward. So he's asking me, hey, are you doing your corrective exercises? So he'll actually know um, while he looks at my physique exactly what I'm doing and what I'm not doing. Push. Another good important tip that we can do when we're doing triceps is as he's fatiguing, a lot of people don't realize the importance of contracting through your core, stabilizing to get that extra rep, lock everything in and then continue on. Lock in, lock in, two. One more, lock. So we're transitioning now to the seated dumbbell overhead extension. Four. Five. Six. Come on. Seven. You got it. Eight. Ten to twelve. You're full. One more, go. I like this angle uh, because the pad is higher up on the back. You can really stabilize. Opposed to one of these seated uh, benches, you don't really have that shoulder stability back there. So really love this, especially having a knee up allows you to stabilize your core and your lower body more. That range, one. Six. Push. You got four. <laughs> Come on, push. <laughs> Stay strong. Two. Good job. Oh. The other important thing with the range, Dan, is if the bench is fully upright, people have a tendency to lift, like shift their head forward. So he's kind of staying back, taking the weight, which helps him with shoulder flexion. And you get a little more, get a better stretch into the triceps without affecting your neck. So you can see he comes back, he's got better range. His head is not in the way. Up, one, oh. two. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Uh, uh, Come on. Uh, uh. As the weeks go on, um, you know, we have strong weeks, we have weaker weeks. This week I'm feeling very fatigued, very tight, very dry. So a lot of these exercises are actually hitting me different in a way where it hurts. Um, so we're adjusting the weight to pull back a bit. Vader. Six more, six more, let's go. Six, oh, five more. Oh, one more. Six. Down. Keep pushing the triceps, triceps, triceps. Down. Come on, three, fight, 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 fight. Two more, two more, three fights, push down, push down. One more, three, continue on. This is what we're building right now. We want a nice tricep hang. So a lot of people, they focus on trying to get their biceps bigger, but if you're really trying to get big arms, especially in a front double bicep, a lot of it is the tricep. The hang at the bottom will actually cause more emphasis on giving that bigger overall arm look, bicep look. So. Don't forget about your triceps, because I know a lot of you guys are bicep focus only. Oh. Two. Uh. Hey, hey uh. Rebecca. Oh. Five. Oh. Let's go. Six. Uh. Five, five, five. Uh. Six. 
So another good tip we could think about also is as he's extending, he's using his triceps, but as we're bringing the weight back, we also want to make sure we're fighting with our triceps as well. So just go out and then stay controlled on the way back. Ugh.